<laughs> All right, so this video we're doing here, this is a, a, a two-year-old I'm riding. He's got 50, 60 rides on him. I guess maybe 70 rides on him. And all I'm doing is I'm just, I, I'm showing how I just break these horses down from a, from a lope to a trot and sometimes even do a walk and a stop and just break them down and speed them back up, transition back and forth through those gates. And it, it keeps them soft and it keeps them, uh, you know, he decided to break down on his own there. It keeps them soft and it keeps those, those stops, big hard stops, but big hard stops that you can control and they, they don't get scotchy on you. This exercise will make a scotchy horse not scotchy and it'll make a lazy horse uh, free up. This colt in particular was, was real lazy. It is real lazy, uh, but it's freed him up a bunch. Interestingly enough, I just seconds ago finished voiceover and a video of a, doing basically the same exercise on a bridle horse. We're putting that one on, on Patreon. She, and in that one, she's doing it. The gal that's riding is doing it on a cow. Um, I'm just doing it dry here. So I lope along, lope along, lope along, and then I pick up just my inside rein when I do, and I try to break him down mostly with that inside rein and inside foot, almost side passing him out of that, out of that lope into a trot. So I, I never really pull on him, I kind of just push him out of that. Looks like I'm loping him around here a little bit just to warm him up. What's, what's kind of funny is this, this colt came, he's got a half brother that's here with him that's at the exact same stage. This one I have to do that exercise, this exercise to free him up. On the other one I do the exact same exercise to slow him down because he's kind of got a motor on him. Um, but it, it works on, on any, any horse at any level. This will darn sure improve him whenever I get around to actually doing it. There's his, his stop. That colt's got a pretty good stop on him. And then I bend his head around. I've said before in some of these videos, I, I used to back them up every single time after every stop. Now I bend that head, just, just their head, and just get them soft in the face. This colt, he's had a lot of, a lot of trouble picking up that right lead, and this exercise has helped that too. So there, I just bumped him with the inside rein and the inside foot, and broke him to a trot. Let him trot a few strides, and then pick up that lead again. And here, here I'll do it again. Somewhere I'll do it.
I guess maybe that other time I didn't bump him down. He maybe he just fell out of, broke down on his own. Cause it looks to me like I'm still just loping him around, warming him up. There. That, there's where I, inside foot, inside leg, broke him down, let him soften up in the bridle, and snap a bit. I tried to keep him soft through the whole maneuver, keep him framed. There he came out of frame, so I bumped him back into it. Pick up that lead again. And this is a really simple exercise. It's one of those, it's so simple that you forget to do it, but it's a good one. Bump him down. There, I bumped him down all the way to a walk. Pulling him around all the way around in a circle just to get him a little softer. Pull him around, soften on that face some more. Evidently that was all the video there. I only did it a couple of times. I guess it was just to show that's how that exercise works. It's just break them down a couple of times and break them down in that trot and then pick the lope back up. But that's an exercise I do on all of them a couple of times a week.